Know therefore, and understand, that from the going forth of the commandment to restore and to build Jerusalem unto the Messiah the Prince, shall be seven weeks, and threescore and two weeks. The street shall be built again, and the wall, even in troublous times. And after threescore and two weeks shall Messiah be cut off, but not for himself. And the people of the prince that shall come shall destroy the city and the sanctuary, and the end thereof shall be with a flood, and unto the end of the war desolations are determined. As the heathen's pagan year comes to an end, the Most High has been very vocal with his people. The Most High has fed his people with deep wisdom to draw his people back to him. The Most High has increased the knowledge of his people by tearing down strongholds the kingdom of darkness via the Satans has placed on the minds of the Israelites and indigenous black people. As the Israelites allow the Most High to renew their minds, they are being transformed. The scripture said the only way you can be transformed is by the renewing of your mind. And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. The Most High said via his words, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world. Majority of the people of the Most High still operate by the patterns of this world especially when it comes to serving the Most High. The heathens have placed an idol God that has become a malicious stumbling block for everyone, including the heathens. No one in their right mind would cause the demise of themselves and their own people if they had the opportunity to receive salvation. Israelites, if you've been on this channel long enough, you will know that the Satans were aware that the Most High granted Adam and Eve salvation as well as salvation for their seed. The Most High did not grant the Satans salvation. The Satans and their children are predestined for the lake of fire. But Satan, the hater of all good, thought within himself, whereas God has promised salvation to Adam by covenant, and that he would deliver him out of all the hardship that have befallen him, but has not promised me by covenant, and will not deliver me out of my hardship. Nay, since he has promised him that he should make him and his seed dwell in the kingdom in which I once was, I will kill Adam. The earth shall be rid of him, and shall be left to me alone, so that when he is dead, he may not have any seed left to inherit the kingdom that shall remain my own realm. God will then be in want of me, and he will restore me to it with my hosts. Israelites, I hope you've gained a better understanding onto why the Satans wage war with you. Salvation was not granted to the Satans and the followers of the Satans. If you follow the ways of the beast system and submit to the God of the beast religion, the Satans are your gods and the Satans are king over you. Regardless if you're an indigenous black person or from the other species of mankind, if you follow the beast culture, you are a child of the wicked one. Satan has become your prince. The scripture says Satan is the god of this world. He is the prince of the air. Wherein in time past ye walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, the spirit that now worketh in the children of disobedience. The Satans declare war on the seed of Adam until the time comes for the righteous seed of Adam to inherit salvation from the Most High. There is a prince of this world, according to the scriptures. He operates in the children of disobedience. Satan imitates everything the Most High does. The tale series on this channel exists to expose the work of Satan through duality. There is a prince of this world. He is the prince of the power of the air. The Most High has a prince over his people and the righteous. A lot of Israelites do not know their prince, despite the scriptures revealing this. But I will show thee that which is noted in the scripture of truth. And there is none that holdeth with me in these things, but Michael your prince. The holy angel Michael is the prince over the Israelites and all the righteous. A lot of people don't know the holy angel Michael as Yahshua, the angel of the Lord, or Messiah. 
Most people know him as a regular angel that is simply a messenger from the Most High. He is also a messenger. Throughout the scriptures, he said the Most High sent him. I don't blame our people for not knowing. I blame religion. The great prince, Michael, is the one assigned by the Most High to fight against the prince of this world. As above, so below. The only way Satan will deceive the whole world is through imitation. The beast system say imitation is the highest form of flattery. I say imitation is the beginning process of the great replacement of the indigenous black people. The other species of mankind first imitated the indigenous black people. After they learn our culture and customs, they take our identity. Until this day, they are imitating black people and taking your place in the process. Satan said to Adam, until the appointed time for salvation comes, he will wage war with Adam and his seed. But now, O Adam, by reason of thy fall, thou art under my rule, and I am king over thee. Because thou hast hearkened to me, and hast transgressed against thy God, neither will there be any deliverance from my hands until the day promised thee by thy God. Again he said, Inasmuch as we do not know the day agreed upon with thee by thy God, nor the hour in which thou shalt be delivered, for that reason will we multiply war and murder upon thee and thy seed after thee. Who is the we that will multiply war against the seed of Adam until salvation comes for the righteous? The fallen angels that dwell here on this earth, everyone who have bowed down and worshipped the beast and the image of the beast, everyone who accepted the beast God and the beast Messiah in the beast religion, everyone who persecute their own through a lack of knowledge and understanding, all the sinners of the world, the followers of the prince of this world is the we, Satan said, that will multiply war against the righteous seed of Adam and Eve. The other species of mankind and the indigenous black people that follow them know they have nothing to lose. Therefore, they are following in the footsteps of their leader, Satan, that caused Adam and Eve to come out of paradise to perish. There is nothing new under the sun. The thing that hath been, it is that which shall be, and that which is done is that which shall be done, and there is no new thing under the sun. The children of Satan are fulfilling Satan's desire towards Adam's seed by attacking and misleading the people of the Most High. They are trying to get a lot of people to stumble to end up in the lake of fire with the beast, the false prophet, and all the wicked. As you heard in the scriptures, Satan said he will wage war until none of Adam's seed is left to obtain salvation. Israelites, it's about time that you understand that you are at war. You live on a battlefield. Too many of you are walking around as if the war is over. Every day you have to put on the whole armor of the Most High to stand against the enemy. The scriptures say you live in the land of your enemy. The scriptures warn all the inhabitants on this earth that Satan has come down unto you with great wrath. He wants to accomplish his will because he know that he has a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The wicked have nothing to lose. However, the righteous have a lot to lose. Only a people who have nothing to lose will cause many to stumble despite knowing the word. The heathens know what they have to do, but they choose to do the will of the Satans. Therefore, the Most High has hardened their heart, just as he did with Pharaoh, who refused to let his people go. And the Lord hardened the heart of Pharaoh, and he hearkened not unto them, as the Lord had spoken unto Moses. Israelites, it is important for you to understand, pagans will worship anything that will give them the desires of their hearts. Pagans are not loyal to one God. They will serve multiple gods. They will worship the Most High along with other idols that will give them the desires of their heart. The scriptures made it known that in the last days, the Most High will give them into their lusts. So many will have a reprobate mind. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a reprobate mind to do those things which are not convenient. 
Broad is the road that leads to destruction. The scripture said many will be on the broad road. Israelites, you must not follow the patterns of this world. Allow yourself to be transformed by the renewal of your mind. Israelites, do not be partakers with those who will have a reprobate mind. The people with a reprobate mind is fighting against themselves. If the other species of mankind, as well as all the wicked, truly wanted salvation, they would have loved their neighbor like they loved themselves. Instead, they hate you and conspire against you to make sure you don't succeed. In their minds, they believe they are doing the will of the Most High. Some of these evangelicals and other people that are lost in the beast religion believe they will receive salvation because an idol they created came to die for them. The Most High said he would send them a strong delusion. And for this cause, God shall send them strong delusion that they should believe a lie. Some people actually believe they can do the will of Satan, don't repent, and will be saved. Israelites, that is a great example of a reprobate mind. You can't serve the Most High and Satan. Israelites, allow the Most High to transform you by renewing your mind. A lot of Israelites and indigenous black people believe that the way they will grow spiritually is by studying to show themselves approved and reading the Bible. Most people read the Bible like they are reading a regular book. The sealed scriptures will never be understood by those who read the scriptures like a book. The truth is hidden. Therefore, you have to read the books the heathens declare to be lost and not approved. Israelites, did you know the scriptures in the Bible are from the various books written by the prophets put together to make the Bible? If you read the apocryphal books, you will find paragraphs that are word for word in the Bible. Matter of fact, you don't have to read the apocryphal books to see this. You can find chapters in the Old Testament rewritten in the New Testament word for word. When you read the sealed scriptures, you must read all of them, including the apocryphal books. The Holy Spirit will connect the scriptures together. Whom shall he teach knowledge? And whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breasts. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. In the messages on this channel, you will see scriptures found in the various hidden books as well as the Bible. If you don't step outside the boundaries your enemy set for you, how are you going to know the truth? You will not find the truth through the heathen's educational system, nor is the truth being revealed in the beast religion. Satan is the father of lies. He is the prince of this world. You will not find truth in the beast system. Reading the scriptures and memorizing Bible verses is a good way to increase your knowledge and spending time in the presence of the Most High. However, what is the point of memorizing the scriptures if you don't know how to use the word? In addition, you don't have any understanding of the word. Israelites, when your wisdom increase, your understanding must increase as well. The word of the Most High said, wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. I am an advocate for Israelites increasing their knowledge. I encourage the people of the Most High to increase their knowledge with the Most High via the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the one that will give you understanding. The word of the Most High said, make sure to get understanding. Israelites, without understanding, the kingdom of darkness via the Satans will run circles in your minds and place a stronghold on your life unawares. Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom. And with all thy getting, get understanding. When the Holy Spirit began to open the scriptures, the truth being revealed was there all along. You never saw it because you didn't understand the scriptures when you read the scriptures the first time. As you grow spiritually, you get a deeper understanding of the scriptures. The Messiah said to the Pharisees, you want to be teachers of the law, but you lack understanding. The disciples in the New Testament at times couldn't understand the Messiah when he spoke. And they understood none of these things. And this saying was hid from them. Neither knew they the things which were spoken. Desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. Oftentimes, the Most High have to send his angels to give his people understanding. When the angels come and give you a response to your prayers from the Most High, 
How do you know? Is there a scripture to prove an angel just spoke to you? Do you have to show proof to a fellow brother or sister that served the most high that an angel of the Lord spoke to you? The scripture said, be careful how you treat strangers because you may entertain angels unawares. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. How would you tell a fellow servant of the most high an angel spoke to you? Don't they have to take your word that you interacted with an angel of the most high? Most of the scriptures you read are the prophets interacting with the angels of the most high, telling them what is to come. Today, we live by the words revealed to the prophets in the spirit realm. The Most High told his prophets to write what they saw and their writings became the scriptures. Can you and I dispute with the prophets who wrote the scriptures on what they saw? The book of Revelation is a vision John had and he has written them down. How many people in his generation accuse him of having a devil for the visions he saw? Those visions John saw are prophecies that is guiding us today of the signs to look for in the last days. And I, John, saw these things and heard them. And when I had heard and seen, I fell down to worship before the feet of the angel which showed me these things. If you want to know the Most High in the mysteries, you have to seek the Most High with all of your heart. This is why your spiritual walk with the Most High is personal and not religious. There are things the Most High is going to say to you and you just have to believe him. When the Most High warned Noah of the flood, if Noah didn't listen to the Most High, he would have been like everyone who was partying and living their best life when the flood happened. A lot of Israelites are getting wisdom in the awakening. However, many Israelites still lack understanding. The scripture said the Most High has to renew your minds. The reason for the lack of understanding, so many Israelites still don't know the Most High and they don't know how he operates. Despite the Most High revealing a lot of information in the awakening, a lot of Israelites lack faith. Too many are serving the Most High with their lips and their heart is far from the Most High. Wherefore the Lord said, For as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their heart far from me, and their fear toward me is taught by the precept of men, Israelites, the very first thing you must do in a personal relationship with the Most High is to trust the Most High. Second, you have to believe that He exists and He can do what He said He would do. After you have an absolute assurance that the Most High exists and He is with you, you have to allow the Most High to undo the work of the kingdom of darkness in your life through the beast system. When you allow the Most High to do the necessary work in you, that is the only way you will be transformed. All of us need work. The Most High must transform all of us. The kingdom of darkness with the human agents made it their life purpose to keep you from uniting with your creator. They spent a lifetime teaching us paganism. Our people taught the heathens how to fear the Most High. The heathens turned around and taught the indigenous black people how to serve their idol gods. After multiple generations of idol worship, the Israelites forgot their God along with his laws, statutes, and commandments. When thou art come into the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee, thou shalt not learn to do after the abominations of those nations. There shall not be found among you any one that maketh his son or his daughter to pass through the fire, or that useth divination, or an observer of times, or an enchanter, or a witch, or a charmer, or a consulter with familiar spirits, or a wizard, or a necromancer. For all that do these things are an abomination unto the Lord. And because of these abominations, the Lord thy God doth drive them out from before thee. Thou shalt be perfect with the Lord thy God. This generation of Israelites living today proved that the people of the Most High was not perfect with their God. The Israelites have forsaken their God for the idols of the heathens. Ever since the Most High removed his people from his presence, the Most High has been on a mission to save his people. The Most High pleaded with his people in multiple generations. The Most High went as far as to plead with the children, yet his people did not hear. Wherefore I will yet plead with you, saith the Lord, and with your children's children will I plead. As a result, the people of the Most High were scattered, their adversaries that hate them rule over them. 
Through the process of their downfall, they became disconnected from their God. When iniquity increased, it removed the presence of the Most High from his people. The scripture says, sin separates you from the Most High. Behold, the Lord's hand is not shortened, that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy, that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your God, and your sins have hid his face from you, that he will not hear. Israelites, now that you know the Satans have imitated everything the Most High has done and prophesied to do, it is important for you to understand the role of your prince. Satan has hijacked the holy angel Michael's role in our nation. A lot of people believe spiritual warfare is only fighting demons and sending fiery prayers. The Satan said they will wage war with the seed of Adam. War is not only physical, but it is mental as well. The Satans and the workers of iniquity will use every deception possible to fight against the seed of Adam. Stealing your identity, indoctrinating you in religion is a form of warfare. Satan has waged war with you in every way possible. Israelites, it is not just a religious war. Satan has taken the identity of the Most High and the Messiah while keeping the boogeyman role as your adversary. The scripture says Satan can disguise himself as an angel of light. For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. And no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. The scripture said the ministers of Satan also disguise themselves as ministers of righteousness. The Israelites and indigenous black people have a habit of stoning the prophets of the Most High, as well as the people the Most High sent to do his will. The indigenous black people lack discernment. They will protect the workers of iniquity and uphold their doctrines without a word. They will dismiss and violate a person speaking truth. Because the people of the Most High perish for a lack of knowledge, they persecute the prophets and the people the Most High sent to help them. O Jerusalem, Jerusalem, which killest the prophets and stonest to them that are sent unto thee, how often would I have gathered thy children together as a hen doth gather her brood under her wings, and ye would not. The doctrines of devils pleases their itching ears and their flesh desires. Most people like when seducing spirits speak lies to them. Israelites, before you reject a person or message you don't understand, ask the Most High for confirmation if you're truly serving Him. The Most High has no problem confirming. Not everyone who speak against the teachings of the beast religion are devils or have fallen from the grace of the Most High. Many accuse the Messiah of having a devil. Some people in his generation tried to stone him, but he escaped. I know if the people of the Most High persecute the Messiah, they will persecute all who speak the truth of the word of the Most High. Remember the word that I said unto you, the servant is not greater than his Lord. If they have persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they have kept my saying, they will keep yours also. Israelites, when you don't accept the truth coming from the people of the Most High, that is a form of spiritual warfare from the Satans. The kingdom of darkness is using the spirit of rejection against those who speak truth. The spirit of rejection makes the people can't see the person in their true essence. As a result, they reject the person. The Messiah was rejected by his own. Therefore, I'm not surprised by any persecution that comes from the indigenous black people. Moses, who led the Israelites from bondage to the promised land, missed his opportunity because he allowed the Israelites to provoke him to anger, which caused him to sin against the Most High. The Most High did not allow Moses to enter the promised land. Moses was a righteous man of the Most High, yet the Israelites in his generation treated him like an enemy. And when he went out the second day, behold, two men of the Hebrews strove together. And he said to him that did the wrong, Wherefore smitest thou thy fellow? And he said, Who made thee a prince and a judge over us? Intendest thou to kill me, as thou killest the Egyptian? And Moses feared, and said, Surely this thing is known. And Moses and Aaron gathered the congregation together before the rock, and he said unto them, Hear now, ye rebels, must we fetch you water out of this rock? 
And Moses lifted up his hand, and with his rod he smote the rock twice. And the water came out abundantly, and the congregation drank, and their beasts also. And the Lord spake unto Moses and Aaron, Because ye believed me not, to sanctify me in the eyes of the children of Israel, therefore ye shall not bring this congregation into the land which I have given them. Israelites, the time has come for you to stop persecuting the people the Most High sent. As for discernment, the Holy Angel Michael has a huge role in our nation as well as for all the righteous. The scripture says Satan disguised himself as an angel of light. What angel do you believe Satan has disguised himself to deceive the whole world? The prince of this world created a Messiah via Rome that is made in his image. Through this Messiah, he has fulfilled his heart desire to sit on top of the congregation to be like the Most High. For thou hast said in thine heart, I will ascend into heaven. I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. I will sit also upon the mount of the congregation in the sides of the north. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. I will be like the Most High. Israelites, a good question to ask is how come religion and many in the awakening do not speak on the role of the holy angel Michael? He is the prince over our people. We talk about everything but this angel's role over our nation. Is he just a messenger like many believe? You will find the answers in the scriptures. The book of Daniel revealed Michael is the prince over our people. He said to be the one to deliver our people during the time of Jacob's trouble. The holy angel Michael is the one that would deliver us from Jacob's trouble. When he deliver us, the dead will rise as well. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people. And there shall be a time of trouble, such as never was since there was a nation even to that same time. And at that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book. And many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. The Messiah in the New Testament is said to deliver our people as well. The Holy Angel Michael is one of the four presents that stand on the four sides of the Most High. Michael is listed first because that is his ranking. He is first. The angel that was with Enoch identified the four presents. The angel with Enoch said, The first presence is the holy angel Michael, the merciful and long-suffering. Who are these four presents which I have seen and whose words I have heard and written down? And he said to me, This first is Michael, the merciful and long-suffering. The New Testament said, The Messiah sit at the right hand of the Most High. The book of Enoch did not mention Jesus as one of the four presents near the Most High. Why did Enoch notice the four presents by the Most High and not mention the Messiah that sit at the right hand of the Most High? The holy angel Michael not only stand in the presence of the Most High, he intercedes on the behalf of the Israelites and all the righteous. He is the angel that presents the prayers of the righteous to the Most High. In chapter 40 in the book of Enoch, the angel of peace that was with Enoch described what the four presents were doing. Verse 7 said the third voice was praying and interceding. And the third voice I heard pray and intercede for those who dwell on the earth and supplicate in the name of the Lord of Spirits. To the people who don't believe the angels can intercede for us, the scriptures just confirm. The Bible said Jesus sit at the right hand of the Father and speak to the Father on our behalf. The book of 1 John said Jesus is our advocate with the Father. The book of Hebrews said Jesus lived to intercede for us. Who is he that condemneth? It is Christ that died, yea, rather, that is risen again, who is even at the right hand of God, who also maketh intercession for us. My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the righteous. Wherefore, he is able also to save them to the uttermost that come unto God by him, seeing he ever liveth to make intercession for them. The holy angel Michael shared many similarities with Jesus in the scriptures. Jesus was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. 
Michael is the holy angel over the Israelites and all of the righteous. An interesting book you can read that will reveal truth concerning the holy angel Michael is the Testaments of Dan and Levi. When Levi was taken to the heavens, Levi interacted with the holy angel Michael. If you're an Israelite, interacting with the holy angel Michael should not be strange since he is the angel over our people. Throughout the scriptures, the holy angel Michael has interacted with the majority of our fathers, including the 12th patriarch to our nation. Levi asked the angel who opened the gates to him his name, and the angel said he is the one who intercedes for the nation of Israel so they may not be destroyed. Levi, the son of Jacob, the progenitor to the tribe of Levi, blessed the angel that intercede on the behalf of the Israelites and all of the righteous. And I said to him, I pray thee, O Lord, tell me thy name, that I may call upon thee in the day of tribulation. And he said, I am the angel who intercede for the nation of Israel, that they may not be smitten utterly, for every evil spirit attacketh. And after these things, I awake and bless the Most High and the angel who intercedeth for the nation of Israel and for all the righteous. The book of Enoch revealed that the holy angel Michael was set over the best part of mankind. He intercedes for the Israelites and all the righteous so that they may not be destroyed. Jesus in the New Testament do the same thing as the holy angel Michael. Israelites, listen to another testament from the patriarch of our nation. Dan shares similar truth about the holy angel Michael. The truth is always hidden in the most interesting places. In the testament of Dan, Dan said to his children to draw near to the angel that intercedes for you. Dan went on to say this angel is the mediator between God and men. Draw near unto God and to the angel that intercedeth for you. For he is a mediator between God and men. And for the peace of Israel, he shall stand up against the kingdom of the enemy. The holy angel Michael is the mediator between God and men. In the New Testament, Paul said that there is one mediator between God and men. That mediator is Jesus Christ. This Jesus has the role of the Messiah in the beast religion, as well as in the awakening. Except in the awakening, many people call him Yahshua and many other names. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So many people said in the message about the Messiah, the prince, that the Messiah is not an angel. Israelites, you will find the truth in the hidden books. The Satans and the workers of iniquity did not hide the books and discredit them for no reason. Nobody would look to the testament of Dan because the beast religion and according to some Israelite doctrines, the tribe of Dan is cut off. The 12 tribe series will continue after this message. I wanted to end the pagan year with the Israelites knowing the role of their prince. In the testament of Dan, Dan described the savior of the Gentile as a true long sufferer, meek and lowly. And the things which ye have heard from your father, do ye also impart to your children that the savior of the Gentiles may receive you. For he is true and long suffering, meek and lowly, and teacheth by his works the law of God. You heard earlier in this message about the four presidents that stand on the four sides of the Most High. The very first one is Michael, and he was described as the merciful and long-suffering. Just like the Savior to the Gentiles, Dan talked to his children about. And he said to me, This first is Michael, the merciful and long-suffering. Jesus in the New Testament said that his kingdom is not of this world. If his kingdom was of this world, his people would fight for him. This world and the kingdom in this world belong to the prince of this world, the leader of the fallen angels. The scripture said there would be a new earth in the new paradise, the place the righteous will inherit. Your prince, the holy angel Michael, is the leader over the people that will dwell there. Then answered Michael, one of the holy and honored angels who was with me and was their leader. And as for the fragrant tree, no mortal is permitted to touch it till the great judgment, when he shall take vengeance on all and bring everything to its consummation forever. 
it shall be given to the righteous and holy. Its fruit shall be for food to the elect. It shall be transplanted to the holy place, to the temple of the Lord, the eternal King. And he showed me a pure river of water of life, clear as crystal, proceeding out of the throne of God and of the Lamb. In the midst of the street of it, and on either side of the river, was there the tree of life, which bare twelve manna of fruits, and yielded her fruit every month. And the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations. And there shall be no more curse. But the throne of God and of the Lamb shall be in it, and his servants shall serve him. And they shall see his face, and his name shall be in their foreheads. The holy angel Michael's role continue into the coming kingdom. Israelites, do you see what happens when precept is upon precept, line upon line, here a little and there a little? The sealed scriptures start to come together and the truth is revealed. I find it interesting that the Most High has a powerful holy angel over his people that intercedes on the behalf of his people and the righteous. The holy angel Michael protect the people of the Most High. The holy angel Michael will deliver the people of the Most High from Jacob's trouble. Yet the Most High place a Messiah that does the exact same thing as the holy angel that is everywhere the Messiah is supposed to be in the scriptures over his people. In addition to the holy angel Michael and the Messiah, the Most High is the leader and the king to our people and the Most High is our savior. Why did the Most High need to set so many over his people when he it is that ruled in the Israelite nation? The Most High made himself known to all that he is the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, the Holy One of Israel. Moreover, he said, I am the God of thy father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. And Moses hid his face, for he was afraid to look upon God. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. I gave Egypt for thy ransom, Ethiopia and Sheba for thee. The prince of our nation, the holy angel Michael, has a significant role. Now that many of you know the role of the holy angel Michael has to our nation and to the righteous, do you still believe you should continue with Messiah worship? The Most High said there should be no other gods before him. I hope this message will encourage the people of the Most High to dig deeper into the scriptures. I hope many Israelites will set a goal to grow spiritually as the new pagan year starts. Most Israelites do not believe until a heathen tell them. Israelites, I don't care who tell you about the great prince over our people, as long as you know the truth. When you know the truth, idolatry will cease from among our people. The Most High can save his people through the Messiah, the prince. When the Most High start to reveal more about the prince he placed over our people, the Holy Angel Michael, I hope you will remember these messages. Israelites, always remember, worship and serve the Most High, Him only should you serve. The words of the wise are as goads and as nails fastened by the masters of assemblies, which are given from one shepherd. And further, by these, my son, be admonished, of making many books there is no end, and much study is a weariness of the flesh. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God, and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. For God shall bring every work into judgment with every secret thing, whether it be good or whether it be evil.